welcome to another edition of the Agri Solutions Cropland Genetics Crop Cam. I'm Mark Ullman, Seed and Agronomy Advisor. Today I have with me Brad Milbreath from FCA Co-op. I want to spend a little time on crop nutrition in soybeans, uh, kind of zoom in on the micronutrients today. Uh, definitely going to focus more on manganese and boron in a soybean plant being a legume. Uh, alfalfa will respond to boron as well. We've done a lot of that in the past. But kind of want to talk today about reminding guys about elemental prominence and and understanding what micronutrients are needed when through the soybeans growth and life cycle. Um, so Brad, manganese, what is uh, essential for? Basically manganese helps with the photosynthesis of the plant. Um, it also um, helps uh, break down carbohydrates and also helps the plant metabolize nitrogen. So we look at the, the need for different time stages of the soybeans growth plant cycle. Uh, the very light blue bar here on the left is the vegetative stage of a soybean life cycle all the way through R5. So some type of application of manganese to that vegetative stage would be great. Maybe it's your second pass glyphosate or a conventional herbicide that you're using. Another huge opportunity to spoon feed that crop with a micronutrient of manganese. Here are some studies done. Uh, the control did 19 bushel an acre. Uh, they did one pound at V6, or they did one pound at R1. Uh, then the yields were 44 and 40 bushel respectively, so a nice increase. But when they doubled up, did a sequential of V6 and R1, they went to 57 bushel. Boron we talked about a little bit, Brad. Uh, can you share with us the essential reasons for that? Uh, just like in corn also, in beans, boron will also help with the reproduction in the plant. Uh, it's also, also essential for early growth and um, again it's necessary for cell division in the plant. So looking at the elemental prominence of that, it's a fairly similar chart. Huge demand at vegetative stage uh, in the soybean plant for boron and it does diminish going into the R stages, reproductive stages. Here's some data on boron. A uh, couple different sites looking at the yields with high boron versus low boron levels, the high being the green, the yellow being the low boron levels. Um, showing a nice yield response, about 24 bushel an acre and 12 bushel an acre. So boron's the next thing to be thinking about as well. Uh, there's some products out on the market to help out with that. Here again we want to remind you guys about tissue sampling on soybeans for example. Taking the, the top uh, trifoliates that are fully developed, kind of doing a vegetative stage, a early bloom, and then an early pod set. Trying to follow up with that at three different crucial times to see what's in the tissue analysis and checking your micronutrient levels at that time. Uh, catch early enough at the vegetative stage, you can put a micronutrient pack in when you spray your herbicide. Maybe it's your last pass. Uh, maybe it's on a fungicide or an insecticide opportunity as well. So keep in mind the Nutri Solutions tool for them. And uh, also want to thank FCA Co-op and Brad Milbrath today. And thank US 104 for having us again. And keep in mind you can find this and other crop cams only at us104.net.